story to tell. By the late 1970s, the French military understood that its AMX-30 main battle tank could not defeat the latest Soviet tanks such as the T-72. The French wanted to independently develop a tank capable of attacking as powerful as the M1 Abrams, but also lighter and better protected than American tanks. The Leclerc tank was born, named after a French general, the commander of the armor division that liberated Paris in 1944. At the time of its birth, it was the most expensive tank in the world, costing 9.3 million dollars each. By comparison, a new M1A2 costs 7.56 million dollars and the Russian T-90 cost just $4 million. The Western main battle tanks, including the American Abrams, the German Leopard 2, and British Challenger 2, all share the same design as the 120mm gun, four-man crew, and composite armor. Although similar in its main performance parameters, the Leclerc tank also has its own French characteristics. Instead of manual reloading, Leclerc uses an automatic reload system for a very high rate of fire, up to 12 rounds per minute. This reduces the crew to just three people including commander, driver, and gunner. The Leclerc has a 12.7mm coaxial machine gun and a 7.62mm machine gun on the turret. The main gun of the Leclerc tank has a slightly longer barrier than that of the Abrams tank. In theory, it has a stronger armor penetration. Leclerc also pioneered the use of programmable shells. However, the main advantage of the Leclerc is its defense and mobility. It is difficult to compare the effectiveness of Martin tank armor, but the Leclerc and M1 seem to have similar frontal armor. Instead of just using chop them composite armor like M1, Leclerc also combines composite armor and explosive reactive armor. It is theoretically more effective against armor-piercing shells. Reality in the Middle East has proven the side armor of Leclerc is clearly superior to M1. Leclerc tanks are also equipped with titanium armor blades and side panels of explosive reactive armor, which can detonate missiles and artillery shells early on. Another difference is Leclerc is equipped with a Gaelic self-defense system are mounted onto the rear part of the turret to destroy targets too close to the vehicle. The launcher can launch a variety of ammunition including smoke grenades, fragmentation grenades, infrared decoy with a burning time of 10 seconds to deceive infrared and laser-guided anti-tank missiles. The Leclerc has a turret that is smaller than the Abrams tank, making it harder to hit than other Western tanks. However, the smaller turret has less space for the upgrades and the equipment 
ินไซด์ว i t h a weight of 60 tons, the l u g e r is 10 tons lighter than most Western main battle tanks. The lighter weight gives it a higher speed, up to a maximum of 70 km per hour. It is also more fuel efficient than other tanks. The l u g e r has a range of 550 km. While the a p r a m s is only 400 k m this factor reduces the logistical burden for l u g l o r The UAE is the only foreign customer of the l u g l o r tank. The UAE purchased 388 l u g l o r the c h o p p e r g l a s s e d version. Using v t l engine and 46 units in armor recovery configurations. Interestingly, the UAE l e g l e r s have superior electronics and sensors compared to the original by the French army. In addition, the UAE also has 50 l e g l e r s equipped with the a r c h e r package, the proposed urban warfare kit. For actions in urban areas, in 2015, the UAE has deployed between 70 and 80 l u g l o r tanks in the Yemen battlefield as part of the Saudi-led coalition. During one month, three tanks were damaged, two by anti-tank mines. And one by an RPG, which damaged the grid without piercing the hull. In a single incident, one local tank was hit and penetrated in the driver's hatch by an ATGM, possibly of Concourse or Concourse M Tab, resulting in the death of the driver and injuries to the legs of the commander. Up to now, no l u g l o r has been completely destroyed. Houthi rebels filmed the scene. They destroyed at least nine Saudi Arabia M1A2 tanks with anti-tank missiles, at least five M60 Pans, and two AMX30s were also destroyed. The performance in the Yemeni battlefield has proven the effectiveness of the l u g l o r main battle tank. My video of l o g l o r tank answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.